non-binary. I get emotional every time that I say that, and I'm currently experiencing what could only be described as gender euphoria. And anybody that's gone through what we've gone through knows exactly that feeling, where you may not be constantly highs, but once you realise who you are, and you're able to say it, you just don't want to ever stop fucking saying it to people. Non-binary is one of the most natural, organic things in the world that has sadly been muddled by societal norms in a heteronormative society. And allowing ourselves to shine through that is hard, but we deserve to fucking shine. <laughs> um, since coming out, in the mirror I see the true Chris J smiling back and I can't contain the tears of joy. And as somebody that's battled body dysmorphia and an eating disorder for, me disorder for many years, trust me, I never thought I would see the day that I felt somewhat content and free with who I am. I held it in for so long. I came out as queer when I was very young, and I always knew that I was different, um, but it took a long time to pinpoint specifically what that different was. And I always knew that I wasn't a boy, but at the same time I knew I wasn't a girl. And growing up with my birth name always horrified me and made me physically sick when I was called it, because it was such a male name, and it never felt like myself. Being labelled a boy never felt like myself. Being told I couldn't play with dolls because I'm a boy never felt like myself. Being told I couldn't fucking wear heels never felt like myself. And I'd always think to myself, well I'm not a boy. But how do you word that as a child when all you're told growing up is that there were men and women and nothing else? And then as you get older, you learn about the trans community, but you learn the very rigid things that they want you to learn and you're taught it in an almost cruel, condescending tone as if it's something that to be, should be mocked, and it's not. And then especially growing up in the 90s, I just hope that that's different now. I, um, I feel like a lot of the younger generation, and I see so many of them here, are more understanding and have more respect and love for people to just be who we are now. But we're still not given the full respect, appreciation and human decency that we deserve especially by such an antiquated society and government. We still walk the street scared, and I know some people would look at me as what they call male presenting, and just assume I would be fine. But I'm a person of colour, I'm a sex worker, I'm a very openly queer person, and I'm non-binary. I don't walk down any street and feel safe. Not, not in this country, and not in these streets. And it's hard not to feel like that when you look at the government and wonder where the representation is of who we are. Where are the people who are here for us, who understand our needs and are like us? Where are the people who want us to receive the care that we deserve? Where are the people who want us to be able to change what we need to change to live as ourselves, like we deserve? And where are the safe spaces that we deserve? As a non-binary individual, I can't even have that recognised on my passport and have to travel as what I was born as, and yet in death there is no option still to have that recognised on my death certificate. How is that okay? For the record, I've been iconic through life. Sorry. Sorry. For the record, I've been, I've been iconic through life and I deserve to be iconic in death too. And we all do. Iconically myself, not the gender slapped on me at birth. And this is not okay. We deserve recognition in life and death. The people that we have loved and lost deserve recognition in life and death. Our birth shouldn't determine anything, especially when it's our rebirth into coming out as the non-cis individuals we are that matters. I can say that having only just come out, as I said, 
that the shift I felt in the cis gay community, a community that itself has never really accepted me as a person of colour, is scary. Many don't understand what non-binary means and they don't choose to understand that somebody can be neither male nor female and just assume that what is between my legs makes me who I am. And that's because this society and this government have taught people this growing up. It's this crap that they've put into people's heads that have left us on the outskirts of society and left people indoctrinated for so long. It's tiring and it has to end. It's bad enough I'm constantly having to tell people that sex work is work, let alone that I'm having to continually validate who I am as well as what I do. Performative activism and performative allyship is real and I'm sure we all know that there are many of those people out there that will hashtag Black Lives Matter and Black Trans Lives Matter once and think that they have done something for change in this community. And I, I tell those people, stand up and fucking do something with your privilege. And I think I can safely say that I wouldn't trust the Tories with my lunch, let alone my life. <laughs> Sorry, I think admin is in. Um, I've fought racism my whole life. I've fought sex shaming, homophobia, kink shaming, eating disorders. I've fought every fun, everything you can imagine, and I will fight for every fucking colour of the trans flag too. I am a queer, brown, non-binary sex worker. I am everything that they hate and want to silence. And with every bone in my body, I refuse to be silent. I rebuke it. I have survived everything that you can imagine and I will continue to survive whatever they throw my way. White society has told people there are two genders, so they believed so for so long, but non-binary or whatever it's called in many different communities, including Two-Spirit. <coughs> um, and trans people have been in existence for as long as life itself. It was only colonisation and oppression that tried to erase that from existence, forcing people who were previously revered as wise and full of wisdom into choosing one gender and forced, being forced to live that role, whether under slavery or demonstrous school and work systems, Meanwhile, taking their land, cultures, money and lives with them. And it's always so tiresome that people mock us for being so adamant of the importance of our pronouns. Which, of course, has been mentioned I'm they, them, and they describe me perfectly. Now, when I introduce myself to people, I tell them my pronouns, and apparently that's an issue. Well, maybe it's an issue to me that society tells us that when we meet somebody, the first thing we say is, So, what do you do? What's important in life is who I am, not what I do. Even if I do it well. And being, and being a sex worker, with most people I interact with being cis men, I misgender to the point of exhaustion. Um, now imagine a world where we didn't assume anybody was anything, or a world where people didn't just go straight to our body parts and straight to sex when they wonder who we are. People don't get to label us and then degrade us when we label our true selves. We didn't ask for their label, they gave it to us. Yet, here we are having to lean to cis hetero people to decide whether we deserve basic human rights, and that has to end. We truly cannot depend on them to understand or even comprehend what any of us go through as trans people, as non-binary people, as people of colour, as disabled people, intersex people, as queer people, period, or as sex workers. They will never understand nor accept the fight that we go through inside ourselves when we have one gender slapped on us as a child and are expected to fulfil the life of somebody that we are not let alone the fight that we have to face in families, in the workplace, in friendships, and in society. A society built on oppression, of lifting up the white cis man only and reminding us daily that we are below them, that we are beholden to them for a morsel of the rights and care that everybody should be receiving, and we are not fucking below anybody. I've been told too often to stop talking, 
to stop existing, stop fighting, stop dreaming, stop begging, and yet they expect us to beg for our basic human rights and to stop validating what they already know is true. Because they don't seem to want to change, but we're here to force the change. I'm here to say I refuse to stop fighting. I hid myself in a closet for far too long, hoping for a day when I'd feel ready and safe to come out. The truth is that day hasn't come, but I got sick of waiting for change. Every time somebody misgendered me or I forcibly misgendered myself, I cut myself inside. Wounds that would take time to heal and scars that would join everything that you can imagine I've encountered in my life. But I'm done hiding. I'm sick of hiding. How do we stop validating our existence when they're constantly forcing us to? They're constantly looking to us for our stories, our art, our beauty, our wisdom, our understanding of the world as it actually is, and yet being paid no gratitude, no respect, no care that we are left with nothing but to stand here and demand it. Because they can try to erase us as much as they want. They can try to ignore us, but we are here. We are valid. We are thriving as ourselves. And whatever their opinions of us are, we will continue to exist, whether they like it or not. The government needs to listen to us to understand our needs, not to cis people like Liz Trust to understand our needs. Somebody like Liz Trust isn't here for us, we're just a statistic to them. We're a box to tick when they choose to need it. They don't get to benefit off of our talent, intellect, beauty, pain, experience, or euphoria, and then treat us like a problem. We don't owe them anything. Uh, I just want to, I just want to thank you because I, I don't know how I managed to get up here, honestly. But. Um, <laughs> Um, I look around at everybody today, at our community, and it's overwhelming. We have everything the government on. We have honesty, integrity, heart, beauty, intelligence, truth, and strength. And we're not going anywhere. I just want to call our next speaker, who is Charlie Kane. Their pronouns are he, him. Thank you. Hello, um, my name's Charlie, and I'm a trans man theatre writer.